Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is h to the power of x, this is equal to 48. So what is the value of x given that x is not equal to 0? So let's prevent the solution from here. Now, we have 8 to the power of x, this is equal to 48. To so solve for x here, we introduce logarithm on both sides. So we have log 8 to the power of x. This is equal to log 48. And you find that log 8 to the power of x, this is in the form of log 8 to the power of n, and this can be expressed as n log a. So let's apply this power rule property of logarithm so that log 8 to the power of x becomes x log 8 this is equal to log 48 so the next step is to divide both signs by log 8 so we have here log 8 so that now we can simplify here log 8 and log 8 so that now x is equal to log 48 divided by log 8 so we can express 48 basically as 8 times 6. So let's substitute this so that now x is equal to, this is wrong, 8 multiplied by 6 divided by log 8. And you find that log 8 times 6, this is in the form of log a times b. And this is the same thing as rog A plus rog B. Now, applying this logarithm property, then we have that x is equal to, this is rog 8, divided by rog 8, then plus rog 6, divided by rog 8. So the the next step here is to simplify rog 8 and rog 8 so that now we have x equal to 1 plus this is rog 6 divided by rog 8. The next step is that we can express 6 basically as 2 times 3. And from here we can express 8 basically as 2 to the power of Three. Therefore, substituting this, we have x is equal to 1 plus, now here we have rog, this is 2 multiplied by 3, then divided by rog, 2 to the power of 3. So you find that rog 2 times 3, this is in the form of rog, a multiplied by b, which is equal to rog a plus rog. Now we have that rog 2 times 3. This is in the form of rog a times b, which we can express as rog a plus rog b. So let's apply this property so that x is equal to 1 plus rog 2 divided by rog 2 to the power of 3, then plus rog 3 divided by rog 2 to the power of 3. Now the next step is to apply the power rule property here. That is rog a to the power of n, which we can express as n rog a. So now here we have x is equal to 1 plus rog 2 divided by, now rog 2 to the power of 3 becomes 3 rog 2, then plus, here we have rog 3, divided by rog 2 to the power of 3, which becomes 3 rog 2. The next step is to simplify here, rog 2 and rog 2 simplifies, so that now x is equal to 1 plus 1 over 3, then plus 1 over 3, this is rog 3, divided by rog 2. And therefore, we have that x is equal to 1 plus 1 over 3. This is the same thing as 4 over 3. 
10 plus 1 over 3. This is row 3 divided by row 2. You find that row 3 over row 2, this is in the form of row A divided by row B, which we can express as row A to be B. So let's apply this logarithm property from here so that now x here is equal to 4 over 3 plus 1 over 3. This is row 3 to base 2. But now since a third is common here, we can factor out a third so that now x becomes a third into the parentheses. This is 4 plus row 3 to base 2. And this is the value of x. This is the value of x. The next step from here is to verify that this value of x satisfies the equation as follows. Now let's verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. Now if you recall, we have that 8 to the power of x. This is supposed to give us a value of 48. So let's substitute the value of x so that we have 8 to the power of x, which is 1 over 3, into the parentheses. This is 4 plus rock 3 to base 2. Cross the parentheses. This should give us a value of 48. We can express 8 basically as 2 to the power of 3. So that now, here we have 2 to the power of 3 times 1 over 3 into the parentheses we have 4 plus this is rock 3 to base 2 this is supposed to give us a value of 48 so let's simplify 3 and 3 here so that now we have 2 to the power of 4 plus rock 3 to base 2 this should give us a value of 40 8. Now, 2 to the power of 4 plus rock 3 to base 2. This is in the form of a to the power of n plus m, which we can express as a to the power of n times a to the power of m. Applying this exponent property, then here we have 2 to the power of 4 times 2 to the power of rock 3 to base 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 48. The next step is that 2 to the power of 4, this is the same thing as 16. So we have here 16 multiplied by 2 to the power of rock 3 to base 2. This should give us a value of 48. Now 2 to the power of rock 3 to base 2, this is in the form of a to the power of rho b to base a, and this is equal to b. Now let's apply this property so that now 2 to the power of rho 3 to base 2, this is equal to 3. Substituting this, then this implies that here we have 16 times 3, and this is supposed to give us a value of 48. So 16 times 3, this is equal to 48, which is equal to 48 and this implies that now this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side and this implies that actually the value of x which is equal to a third into the parentheses 4 plus rock 3 to base 2 actually satisfies the equation so can you follow the steps like this video and subscribe country like this video and subscribe see you in the next video